What's up, folks? Time to give away whatever I'm uh, I'm playing on Monday. Although I already kind of said what I was playing. <laughs> yeah, need, need music for headphones so you can listen to Quantum Entanglement. Man, that was a good bot. How the fuck did that guy find it? Find my channel? I guess that's what happens when you play Tekken. Damn, I kind of want to play some more Tekken tomorrow. I was having fun yesterday. I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, let's let's pop in a credit. I've been grinding this a bit off stream. I did some uh, I did some level routing and stuff for this off stream. I think I'm uh, I'm really good at dying to the uh, the first enemy. By the way, I think I'm pretty good up to like stage seven. Like stage seven is the uh, the wall. Alright, take that. Use the ladder. Oops, I didn't mean to drop the bomb. Put the ladder back. I keep forgetting how fast those guys come out. <laughs> I got the shoes. I want to go fast. Okay, let's try this again. 
I will get past stage one. this time. There we go. Little skeleton ostriches. Obviously this isn't like full score run, but not really a speed run. It's more like uh, whatever the safest strats are. Because there's like multiple ways you can go through levels. Very good boss. Yeah, I think the only port I played, I did play the NES one, but I don't think I finished it. I'd rather go up here than down the other way. For some reason you can't shoot those birds until they fly down at you. Karnov! Why, you beautiful fat Russian man? Okay, I gotta wait for this to run out. Because you can't duck when you have the wings. There we go. You gotta kill Moses and his lions. So yeah, I've never actually, like, officially won CC'd this. Like, only, uh, I've only save-stated through it. I've never done, like, a, a legit 1cc of it. So this is basically another game I've been trying to learn, like, just for, just for 1cc BBH. Just for Karnov Ember. shoes here, but you don't want to, like, go too fast. The sword guys are going to show up. Oh, they didn't show up this time. I don't know what makes, like, some of the enemies not show up. I still never figured out. Oh! Tree man is after me. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is very much a Data East game. <laughs> this is like one of the most Data East games imaginable. Wait, is this the end of the level? Yep, there's the you're being chased. Yeah, next stream's gonna be all Data East games. Of course I've only got like uh I think like seven games planned. If I can do all of them. Do I need to... I don't even need the shoes. Okay. Okay, this part fucked me up the first time. There we go. I almost got hit by the fireball. Oh no! 
you're being chased. Okay. There we go. Get all the hidden shit. There we go. I almost had a, a full row of icons at the bottom. There we go. Shit. I hate that there's like these these little trees that that appear to like make you hurry up when the game already has a timer. Uh, you gotta get 50k icons for an extra life. Use the uh, the big fireballs on her, but yeah. The thing is, the route I learned, like whatever the last item is on the list, it doesn't even get used. The helmet only gets used here. It looks like a giant eyeball. Oh my god, the slow down. And yeah, so this little tiny fish will kill you. Karnov's a gigantic wuss. Yeah, fireball's underwater. Don't worry about it. It makes sense. fish. Okay. Got a third one? Alright. Where's the dragon? Ah! There he is. I don't like that dragon. Oh god. Oh god, the lag. Turn on. What? Oh. I was paying attention to the spears. I didn't even see the guy shooting at me. Okay. Oh god. That's, that's quite a spawn point. Alright, that's, that's fine. This is recoverable. I still have the shoes. Get one fireball back. Alright, let's try this again. I didn't even notice the clam that time. The first time. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Boy, that part's kind of a clusterfuck, huh? Oh god, oh god. Nice hitbox on the ground. Okay. I can still get an extra life, like, on the next stage if I can get there. I'm so worried about stage 7. I'm not even going to get to stage 7. Alright, what if I just go this way? That would seem to be the, the safer thing to do. Oh god. Alright, now I know. I think there's some more caves before the end of the level. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Turn on the bullet hell. Oh, I don't even need those items. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Hey, one up. All right, need you to need you to stop doing that. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, select Boomerang. Dinosaurs are a bigger pain in the ass if you don't one-shot them with the boomerang. Found that out the hard way. Oh god, I kind of need to be full power for this this stage. Is there a one-up up here? Or uh, an item? I think there is. Oh, there's not. Shit. I'm gonna have to use the big fireball up here, I guess. There we go. Mizoguchi wins! Yo, Cuba, thank you for the, the 30 months. The 30 days of Carnavember. Yeah, Monday stream is going to be all games with uh, Karnov in them in some capacity. Some very, very minor situations, but they, they technically count. Like Tumble Pop and Joe and Mac Returns. Which I really need to practice. Wasted my uh, my one CCs on Robocop and Slice by. <laughs> I wasn't thinking too far ahead. I wasn't thinking far enough ahead to do a a whole Karnov thing. And no, I'm not doing Big Karnak, which also uses a a traced over Karnov sprite. All right, Egypt. Uh oh, forgot about this part. Forgot about the birds. Yeah, I haven't actually 1cc Gario Retsuden, so it's not on the list. Or, or Street Slam. Nice. Just saying. Okay, I like how this stage they just kind of like said fuck it to level design and just just made it one flat stage after like all the platforming. Like stage eight is actually easier than stage seven. Should I go for the the K's? I don't know. I'm really wary about running too fast. I 
gonna run into Fire Nest Yoda. Okay. Shit. No need to rush, got plenty of time. Use the. There we go. I didn't realize there was a hidden thing there. It was making the the sound effect to tell you you can use the mask to find hidden stuff, but you don't need it there. All right, final stage. Oh shit! No, no, no! Not the bomb. This was the stage I couldn't figure out when I was, like, credit-feeding through it. It's like a very particular route you want to use. Also, abuse hitboxes here. this wall. This is like a shortcut. Or not supposed to, but that makes things so much easier. You get to skip so much of the stage. I didn't know about that for the longest time. Also, I used a fireball too early. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah. Okay, final boss. They take away all your power-ups here. The old wizard. Hey, that's it. I think they nerfed him on the US version. What an amazing ending. Yeah, I think that's the first first time I've legit once they see that. Actually, now I am curious. I want to look at the the Japanese version. I don't remember if there's any other differences. But I want to say like I watched a replay and it seemed like the boss had a lot more health. On this version, the uh, the items are at the top. That kind of fucks me up. Yeah, they didn't have the birds at the beginning. They kind of changed some stuff in the... Wait, where's the... Uh... There's no shoes here? Ah, oh, they moved some stuff around. Oh, this is way different. Okay, they're like just less items in general? I'm definitely playing the US version for the screen, but... That's some hitbox. Let's reset. Oh, 
Oh, there are the shoes. I see. Does it still have the fireball up there? Okay, so you don't get the uh, the mask in this in this stage then. Yeah, the uh, the US NES version of Karnov like cut out all the all the translation from the Famicom version where he's like a Karnov's a messenger of God apparently. Can't be talking about God in a in an NES game. The music sounds a little different too. Okay, so I do have the ladder. Is there a mask up here? I don't remember. Or no, I think you get it from the uh, the flying part. Never mind. Trust the hitbox on these these fairies, whatever they are. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, we good. has less slowdown. It seems about the same. There's definitely like some like some more thumping in the music. I don't know. Yeah, the game's not too hard until stage seven because they throw uh, they throw a couple dragons at you and one of the dinosaurs, and if you lose your power ups there, it's it's kind of nasty to recover. That was the uh, the biggest thing I had problems with trying to trying to figure out the strats. Are there no shoes here? I guess not. Well, if you wiggle a joystick, you can make him, like, <laughs> make him do a dance. Whoa! Tree man! Okay. Yeah, 50Ks give you a, an extra life. Is this the end of I, don't, I don't have the boomerang. Shit. I was supposed to get a boomerang before this. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the other uh, fireballs, I guess. I guess. 
guess I jumped in the wrong spot. Oh, did I miss a Karnov pitcher? Shit. Wait, I... Wait, what? If you use the big fireball, you lose your... your weapon power? Oh, that's fucked up. Oops. Oh, I screwed up the pattern. Okay. No. That's alright. Yeah, that's super fucked up. If you use the uh, the big fireball, it returns you back to to one your the first weapon level. It doesn't do that in the U.S. version. I didn't know that. I hope the boomerang doesn't do that too. So you really don't want to use the big fireball if you if you don't need it. Cause so I think I'd only uh, I wouldn't use it again until stage seven anyway. Almost get my ass. Turn off the bullet hell. Yeah, it still has slowdown. Yeah, I've watched, uh, I watched Funk Doc do, like, a lot of, uh, attempts on, uh, was it, I don't remember if it was Superstars or WrestleFest, but, yeah, it was, uh, it looked really annoying to do. Because you had to, like, uh, you had to, like, throw them out of the ring and have, like, very specific stats to, or strats to, like, keep them out. And then, of course, the uh, the Royal Rumble thing was even more annoying. I don't know if it was more annoying, but... But no, nah, I... I've never actually once you see that. I don't know, uh... It's not on the, the list of things I want to learn just yet. There's not too many arcade wrestling games I really know how to play. Like, there's King of the Monsters, there's Map Mania, Blazing Tornado, where you just have to be able to mash, and, uh, I don't even know what else. Oh yeah, the, the Midway WrestleMania arcade game, just, just steal Elrock stats, I guess, strats, I guess. <laughs> oh, the Boomerang takes your weapon level away, too. Man, this version sucks. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is gonna make this stage harder. I'm not fast enough to kill the fish. This, this part's gonna be a problem. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Should have activated that sooner. Okay. Luckily they give you the mask back. Okay. I thought I could get away with it. Let's try this. I gotta, like, save some of these shots. There we go. That might be the checkpoint? I don't know. <laughs> nice, seven pains. Damn, the double? Damn. Moses. Okay, um, I don't have the big fireball. I think there's some power ups like right before the boss. Yeah, there's one. Is there another one? There we go. <laughs> I guess Karnov's a good guy in this game. Everybody wants to kill him. He's just looking for for treasure. Although he's probably stealing somebody else's treasure, so... Yeah, it depends on the game. He's, he's like a bad guy in Bad Dudes. Oh god. He's not... He's not really a bad guy in the Fighters History games, he just wants to throw a good tournament, I guess. Wait a minute, if I use the boomerang here, I'm gonna lose my weapon power. Should I do that? Uh-oh. Landed that first, sh first shot too high. Okay. Well, luckily I still have the boomerang. I'll use it this time. What is that bat doing? Okay. Kanoko? Close. There we go. I worry about that dragon. You gotta like do some damage to it, then like scroll back and make it come to you before it can fire a shot. Because those shots it fires, they like explode into eight different directions, and they're uh, a bitch to try to dodge. So. Whoa! That one knight was moonwalking. That was cool. If 
feels like after the first stage, they didn't really change much. Other than the whole shot power thing. This stage is so much easier compared to stage 7. Like, they just gave up on, like, having platforms and stuff. But then they brought it all back for stage 9. They made stage 9 a maze. Oh yeah, I lost my power-ups. Okay, hopefully this stage is the same. Woo, hitboxes! Yeah, but the thing I thought I saw was it looked like the last boss took more damage in the Japanese version. That's what I want to see. Because the last boss is kind of a joke in the U.S. version. Yeah, he teleported, like, faster. Uh... He took about the same amount of damage, I think, but he... He teleports sooner. Luckily, like, once you kill him, you get invulnerability. Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! I think I've got this game down now. Man. Initial entry jams. Too bad they didn't do the the goofy faces on the letters like in Chelnov. I guess that came later. I think Data East did spa rub end in a lot of their games. Like a lot of their a lot of their old cassette games from like the early 80s, 82, 83 had the had the spa rub end in the high scores. That was definitely a Data East thing. Okay. Just have to redo that on Monday for the big stream. <laughs> I'm feeling better about it. I started uh I started messing around like trying to trying to learn it over the over the weekend. Just started putting save states down. 
It wasn't that bad until stage seven. Stage seven is the uh, the rough part. And uh, I don't know if this is still a work in progress, but let's let's have a credit of it. This game sucks so bad. <laughs> this game's so bad. Yo, 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 yo. Like, like most of this game just comes down to uh, timing the roulette wheel. And, like, like trying to do it, like, just trying to eyeball it is really hard. So I've been trying to, I've been trying to work out a system. Because I gotta get the, uh, I gotta get two power-ups, two, two main weapon power-ups, and then you're just going for health, like, after that. I am going the easy route. I am... I'm not using Santos, unfortunately. Dun, dun, dun. Yo, 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 yo. Alright. Hey, got it. Cha-cha-cha. Yeah, the ninja kind of cheats because you can shoot enemies. How did that go through the hand? Damn. Change isn't bad, it just wastes time. Resets the music. The volcano. good at hitting the change, but not the main up. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, the purple car knobs. I'm trying to hit the change, I'm trying to get the main up. A curse of sheeps. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. God damn it. This game doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, maybe by the end you'll figure it out.
Damn my sheep! It all makes sense. Luckily, you're invincible when you crouch, of course. Just like in real life. Shit. You son of a bitch. Man, I tried to delay it there. It's like five times in a row I hit the change. I'm trying to get the double shot. Don't do that. I will anyway. You found me out way. I haven't even gotten a new weapon yet, <laughs> or a new sub weapon. I love the rock. I thought I delayed it. Man, this is tough. Maybe I should just close my eyes and press the button. Man, so many car knobs. Come on! Thank you very much. Thank you, Dasiati, very much. Man, I thought I had a system. Completely normal video game. Please. Thank you. Hey, there we go. Now I can focus on life ups. From now on, I just try to like start like lightly mashing as soon as the uh, the thing comes up. Most of the time, I hit sub up, but sometimes it'll land on life up. It's too hard to time it normally. I gotta take a hit here. Alright, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, let's stage. Oh, God. Oh, that doesn't hurt you? Yeah. Ah, Jin Jin. Too late. All right, I gotta start getting health back. Oh god, it's a chill off stage too. I can make do with one shot. Not how I expected that to go. Oh god. Every time you get the one, that's like three extra hit points. The moon is your friend. Oh god, I have the, the power up that might like piss off the moon. I think. Oh, I saw Genie's here, never mind. stage. Where's the heart? Sir, I need your heart. Thank you. This is a stage you can soft lock on. I think I still have Genie Gen though, so I shouldn't be able to soft lock. Uh, you can soft lock it if you have the uh, the rock power up. And if you push like one of those, uh, one of those enemies off like the right side of the screen, they just get scrolled off there and they never come back. It did happen to me. I remember Zaki talking about it, and sure enough, it happened to me. Like, oh yeah, that's a thing. Shit. Completely normal video game. Oh, I have the other. Okay. Miss it. 
Katana. You are best in the world. That's my favorite part of the song. Nice. Speedrun strats, baby. Kind of. And apparently, like, the health, like, does keep stacking up to a certain point past your... what it shows on the health bar, so it is... It is worth still getting the, uh, the life ups. We both fall down. gonna land on the five. That was okay. Oh yeah, we win-win. Oh yeah, I don't know what to do here. Uh, I think you stay in the middle? I gotta get those snakes. to go around. Yeah, Unlucky powers you down by a level, which is huge for your main weapon. Oh, frogs. Shit. Uh, should I just go to the bottom? Fuck. Are these ah, man, I don't like this route. I don't like the stage. Wish I had Genie Gen here. Uh oh, timer. Nice. Yeah, Santos, uh, Santos is way harder than the ninja. I'm going for the most, most easy mode shit. Oh yeah, you gotta take a hit here, too. Oh, jeez. Sorry to hear that, gun tanks. Man, I can't hit the ring. Oh god. regular ass Karnov earlier. I do know how to 1cc it now, somehow. I know, the Weebles fall down thing, it just, it just stops everything. It doesn't actually, like, do anything to you, whether you're, like, looking at the Daruma or on the ground or whatever. Okay. Oh shit. Win win Weebles left. Alright, maybe I can go back for the the main power up again. Oh, 
Get them, boys. There we go. Get that double shot back. That's up. Ninja stages. It's like you go from too many car knobs to too many ninjas to, to too many slimes. Yeah, I don't even know how much health I have now. I've got a lot. This stage, okay. Um, I don't know the route here. I think I just use invulnerability to like get through this shit. Yeah, the sub weapon just loops back around to the uh, the first weapon if you pick up the the sub up too many times. If you just hold the button on the roulette, it's always going to land on that four at the top right. after the boss, the mid-boss. I don't know the timing on this. I'm just gonna use this early. There we go. <laughs> I was afraid I soft-locked it. <laughs> Damn, you can soft-lock on this stage too? Slime time! Part of the game that really, you just really want it to be over. At least it's a lot easier with the ninja. Fire escape a tree of the punch, except it's the very end of the game, not the not the middle. It's just like please, please end. I don't want to fight more slimes. It's not as bad as Metal Slug 3, I'll give it that. A few things are. Yeah, 
this game is way easier with the ninja than the uh, than Santos. Whoa, whoa, is that a good strat? Keep the slime stuck there. Oh, shit. Data East game imaginable. Oh god. Another slime. I'm so happy. Oh my god, come on. Thank you. How many more slime stages are there? There's like three more, I think. I lost track. There's a glitch sprite. It slows everything down. Yeah! Oh, that didn't even have the heart? What the fuck? Oh, there it is. Uh, cool. Get him, boys. Damn. Oof. Lip spread. Shit, I gotta delay that a little bit. Let's actually travel on the ground, huh? Oh shit! Uh, this is not good. There we go. Oh god. Fuck. Yo! Yo, 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 yo! Wasn't even the boss. What? Anti airs. Oh god, timer. Oh my god, oh shit! Whew. 
Uh-oh. Way too late on that. Oh, I don't have enough health. Health up. Oh shit. Dead last, last stage. What? Cruelty. This game fucking sucks. <laughs> they didn't even center the text. Alright, that was that was kinda close. I gotta get like I gotta get more consistent in getting the life ups. I got too many I couldn't even stop on the main ups at the beginning. That was really fucking me up. But yeah, it turns out like it's this isn't as daunting to learn as I thought it was going to be. It'd be a lot harder if I pick Santos. Which I know Santos is Santos is more fun for chat. You get to spam memes uh every stage, but I don't think I can I don't think I can do that. Because even when I got W Fist, like, all I did was I kept crashing into enemies. It's way easier to just pick the ninja and do the instant throwing stars over and over. Also, for some reason, like, every time... No matter what you do in the game... If you 1cc it, you're always going to get 2,351,400. Like, for some reason, the game always ends on that, that exact score. It's the boss bonus, item bonus, win bonus. And yeah, I don't know shit about Sword Guy. Nobody uses Sword Guy.
Okay, so... Basically, those are the two new things I've been trying to... Uh, trying to make sure I, I know how to do. Two games I'd never once CC'd until, like, uh, a few days ago. Or until today. Because I am trying to... I am trying to learn some new projects here and there. But I gotta de-rest on other games, too. Like, this this barely qualifies as a, a Karnoff game. But... He's in there as an enemy, so... I gotta do stuff to... to fill up a 1cc BBH stream, so... da na 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 I don't think I've one cc this since like oh god whatever whatever mark tournament it was in it was like back in like 2008 2007 let's clean up let's clean up no I think Joe and Mac returns is the one that has uh Mizuguchi in it which I also need to de-rust on. Let's clean up. So I think, like, I watched... I watched the replay briefly. I think I started on Egypt. Let's clean up. Let's game of skeletons. Oh, that's a good start. I'm gonna have to make save states. Let's clean up. Oh my god, I don't I don't remember these uh these hitboxes at all. Oh also because I don't have power-ups yet, that's right. There's like a vacuum power-up you gotta get. Idiot. There it is. But then I just have to like memorize where the. I think like the most important thing is figuring out where the letters are so you can get into the bonus stage because the bonus stage gives you a one up, I think. You idiot. There he is. There's the boy. I think I'm invincible. You idiot. That's too low. I was gonna say, I hope that's a safe spot. Good face. Idiot. Humble pop. All right, where's the where's that last P? I need some P.
you idiot. Data East propaganda. Let's yeah, Deco's the there it is, the Data East Corporation. Humble Pop. Humble -pop. You can get into the bonus stage sooner than that. Probably, I might have missed like the last P or the the first P. Because you can definitely like you can definitely build up a few extra lives in this game, from what I remember. Some letters there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know why it makes elephant noises. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they use that sound in, in Caveman Ninja. Yep, this is... Any game with Karnov in it is Data East, unless it's Big Karnak. <laughs> that doesn't count. Yeah, some of the letters actually do change, that's right. They go in, like, alphabetical order or something. Okay, yeah, I gotta slow it down. You idiot. Yeah, some of the letters, like the the deco letters, the D and the, the C don't even don't even help you. Whoop. 
Oh shit. Who's that guy? I need the peas. It's always the peas. Why are there two peas in Tumble Pop? I don't want to see this, I'll just crack some. Well, I do wish I had power for the, the boss. It is an unfortunate place to die. Karnak had crash issues? Oh, you may want to, like, locks up. No idea. change. I can't find any peas! There's one. Oh, shit! Oh, they changed! No! They changed on me. That's what I needed. That sucks. They started as pop, but I couldn't, uh... I couldn't get over there in time. The dark Karnoff. Yeah, the workout game is called Diet Go Go. Data East made a few of these. I don't think Diet Go Go has Karnovs in it, though. Could, I, I think he shows up in the, uh, there's, like, a picture at the very end of, like, a bunch of, a bunch of Data East characters. Like, they've got characters from, like, Gate of Doom and other stuff, but... But I don't think Karnov was an enemy. Also, I forgot to make a save state, didn't I? Tumblr Pop! Tumblr -pop. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh, please. Hum. <laughs> yeah, this is only a, only a Karnov game in that it has Karnov as an enemy. Which I guess is uh, closer than just having him as a background character like in... I still haven't learned Street Smart. I don't know if I can... I can do that before Monday. Oh god. Street Smart, I meant Street Hoop. Street Slam. Okay, I forgot to make a safe state. Let's just do that. Let's clean up. Deco. There was a Joe and Mac bootleg that had, like, weather channel music? What? Was it still Joe and Mac? Or was it just a game that used the sprites? Because I don't remember that. That sounds amazing. Yeah, Vigilante's... it's kind of weird until you learn how the game works. For some reason, I'd never... I'd never put in the time into it until it was in that, uh... that Retro Gaming Live tournament. That, uh... that little speedrun thing. Which I ended up winning, too. Even though I'm not a speedrunner. How about that? B. Give me the beat bun. How would I rank this among other single screen arcade games? It's aight. Um. I feel like this game, like, definitely started the trend of these single-screen platformers that just are way too long, that need to be, like, trimmed down a little bit for arcade play. This is, like, what, ten worlds or something? I would say it's better than Snow Brothers, yeah. I don't really like the, uh... The thing that gets me with Snow Brothers is that, like, I'm not very good at, uh, like, moving the snowballs around. Because you can't pick them up. You can you can jump at them from below. But it's it's much harder to like group enemies up compared to this game where you just vacuum them up and release them wherever you want. That's a lot easier to deal with, and uh, I appreciate that. I mean I like I like Nightmare in the Dark more than Snow Brothers, even though they're fundamentally the game it Fundamentally the same game. Oh god. I should have died there. Yeah, Nightmare in the Dark was a it was a good length for a, a single screen platformer. It's not not too bad. Not too short. Not too long, not too short. And that was like the only video game that that Gava King company made. And it turned out pretty good. It's just nobody nobody cared about single screen platformers in the year 2000, so it never really uh, nobody played it. You beat it. Bom, bom. 
Oh, Frosty. Alright, what does he do? God, does every boss have this sound effect? Definitely normal ass snowman noises. Uh oh. He didn't even really do much of anything. Ah, not the face. Okay, what was the, uh. Caveman Ninja bootleg? I'll look at that after this. It's not a. It's not a Karnov game, but now I'm curious, because I don't remember that. Speaking of Caveman Ninja. Oh, I don't need the P this time. Tumbler Pop. Also, I'm just now realizing that, like, I don't think I'd played this game since, uh, uh, since when this showed up in a, uh, it was in a viewer's choice extravaganza. It was one of, like, uh, it was in 2016, 2017. It was pretty early on, I think. And that's when I was still doing the extravaganzas on Saturdays. Must have been 2017. Pretty sure. I don't know. And like I was, I was not feeling feeling well that uh, that day. Like I had just started like coming down with something like the night before, but I was like, I was determined to do that to do that stream anyway. And then like three or four hours into the stream, when I was playing this, like I just I just couldn't take it anymore and had to like cut it there. One of the few times I've had to like cancel a stream like that. Look at this amateur only doing four hour streams. What the hell? Uh, I made up for it. I just remember it happened during this, and I think I'm like uh, associating that with bad memories now. Yeah, episode 70 must have been like. Uh, I know it was like near the end of the year, or it was, it was in winter. No! So I remember it was snowy, and it doesn't snow very often in Portland. So I remember like, uh, the roads were too icy, so I couldn't, uh, I couldn't drive to the store, so I, I walked to the local Albertsons feeling like shit, just to get some, some cold medicine. Good times. Oh god. And yeah, they keep making they keep making each world like a little bit longer. That's why this game feels feels a little over long. Oops, I should have gotten the L. Fuck. Yeah, it was sometime in January. I can't remember if it was December or January. I just remember. I just remember it like snowing really bad in Portland, like way way worse than it usually snows here, if we get any snow at all. I 
I mean, I, I lived pretty close to a to an Albertsons at the time, so it wasn't like a it wasn't a super long walk. But it was still like I I didn't want to be walking. <laughs> I wanted to stay home. I wanted to stay in bed. And I wasn't living with anybody at the time, so. Nine. Oh. oh, I didn't want to release that there. This fucking dirt snowman, what the fuck is he? Cut of his gym. Okay, I still don't have the weapon power up yet. Oh. This is gonna make this a little annoying. Oh, nice. Oh man, can you like? To wiggle like a good technique in this game. Wiggle it just a little bit. Man, the bosses are really easy in this game. Oh, you can't show that on Twitch. <laughs> oh, more skeletons. Thanks, Daddy East. Beat. Incoming DMCA. Oh, wait, no. That's for music. I need? I need an O and a P. Shit. Okay, I need an O and a P. Oh yeah, the ghosts teleport. Some oh god! I didn't see that enemy. Ah, there were no items on the bottom. You beat it. Okay, I got the O. Uh... Pull enemies in faster when you do the wiggle. Am I just imagining things? Oh, P! Tumbler pop! Yeah, you get plenty of extra lives. Uh, there we go. 
Ah, skeleton! Oh, shit! Uh... Uh... Hmm. Okay, I got... I have a plan. Didn't work. Okay. So, strat on this stage is get the fuck out of here as fast as possible. I see now. What stage was this? 7-7. Seven, seven. Let, me, let me make a note of that. I'm just gonna write down 7-7. Seven, seven. One of the only levels where you just have to, like, <laughs> to actually know what to do. Because, like, for the most part, this isn't, like, really pattern-heavy. <laughs> X-Keeper, thank you for the, uh, for the 49 months. I see what you did there. Thank you very much for the, for the long-time support. But, yeah, like, for the most part, like... This isn't, like, you have to memorize, like, what to do on every level, like, like, Bubble Bobble or something. You can just kind of freestyle it, but I think that level's, like, the exception. Suck to blow. Nope, oh, weevils fall down. Oh, maybe the wiggle's not that good. Oh god, he's got bongo knees! Like his knees. Oh God, it's clown time. It's clown time! Oh, there's purple. Grape flavored Karnov. What? I thought he was stunned. I'm not gonna be able to get that power up now. I didn't get it. B. Yeah, it's it's kind of forgiving. There's plenty of extra lives, but it's de it definitely gets harder in the in the second half. I knew where all the the letters were. Ooh, I almost died there. You need it. See? Oh my god. Okay.
Man, it's clown time. Yeah, these look like grandpa clowns. They're pretty awful. in the mall up. That sucks up all the items, too. Good for score. Oh, shit. I waited too long. My bad. I don't know why I did that. That's a lot of clowns. I need my power-ups back. Oh, this stage. Oh, this looks awful. Karnov's being like the most dangerous enemies. Makes sense. Yeah, this is Data East. This isn't the, uh... Oh god. This is the game all those Korean companies ripped off. Okay, I think... I think you just stay here on the clown boss. What a good boss. I do not like that clown's death face. Alright. Now it's time for a chill mobs. You would think outer space is the last stage. Spoilers, it's not. Wow, the anti-airs. Forgot to make a safe state, didn't I? I just need a U. That's not a U. Supernatural guy's homeworld. Come 
Quantum Entanglement, baby. Oh, there it is. Tumbler Pop. Tumbler -pop. on headphones. <laughs> I hope that guy comes back one day. I don't know why he was in my ch my stream yesterday, but that was that was pretty good. I hope he's not stuck in PJ's channel now. Get him! Fight! Power up. Stage looks like it could be a problem. Never mind, we're good. You need it. Troublemakers. There we go. Oh, I almost jumped into the alien. Music loop kind of, kind of keeps going into this, this new part. It's not that bad. I mean, the music resets every stage anyway. Stupid octopus! I've died twice to octopus. Octopi. I need a... Oh, God! Well... <laughs> Fair enough. It's alright. This isn't a serious credit. I'm just trying to relearn the game. I'm trying to put down save states. safe spot here. Tips are welcome. I'm not really uh, averse to that. 
So I think this is the, uh, yeah, boss rush. Except everybody has low health, so it's not that bad. Bosses, though. A lot of elephant noises. So we're gonna miss. I'm leeching points now. Yeah, Data East loved reusing shit. They were very economical, I guess. Oh god, the Bongo needs. Attacking the enemies that things that spawn enemies with a huge ball. Well, in the early stages, if you hit them with a big ball, they actually die in, in one hit, but I guess they they increase the health later, so you can't do it with one, so yeah, it would be better to do it one at a time, I suppose. This one's not worth using the big balls on. It keeps running into other stuff. I don't think the wiggling actually helps. Like once it's once it gets sucked in, that's that should be it. I'm I'm just I don't know. I'm looking for tech. I'm looking for that hidden tumble pop tech, I guess. Uh -oh. I'm gonna name a technique after myself. patient on this guy. I think I fought him at low rank and he was only shooting uh, like four bullets the first time. Yeah, the Mamma Mia. Oh, I thought they didn't drop down there. Okay. Seed. Woo. Fuck. I stopped caring at this point. I've already I've already continued. I'd play it more cautiously if I was still on my first credit. Eat it. A 
Okay, is this guy actually gonna do stuff this time? I didn't let him do anything the first time. when you have the power up. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of screwed right now. Is this a safe spot? Yeah, this is basically Snow Brothers, but with a vacuum cleaner. Oh god. Not that that's a bad thing. That's eye bullshit out. Blow Brothers. Suck Brothers. Okay, last boss. Oh god. Let me put a safe state here, just in case. It's the guy from, uh, from Spin Master. Vacuum him? Oh no, I gotta hit him. What the? What? Huh? Okay. There we go. Okay, let me try that again. Yeah, I always go for three if I can. I knew that much. This doesn't seem too bad. I just got greedy. As I tend to do. Oh god. Oh god, okay, yeah, don't stay in the Never mind. You can you can get murked up there. Also, you didn't even have to hit him with another enemy, you just have to vacuum him up. Seem too bad. Oh, there they are. Wait, let me pause this. Wait, is Karnov not in this picture? I put the Joe and Mac enemies in there, but not Karnov? Data East, you're fucking up. <laughs> Earth Day. No, that was, uh, there was a boss that looked like that. 
Karnov doesn't wear a turban. I mean, it was the World 1 boss on my run, but you can you can pick your starting stage. So he could he could end up on a on a different world if you if you change the order. Sorry about that. Um. Oh, there's Nankar. <laughs> well, let me, uh, let me replace that. It's a little transparent. Thank you very much, Ann K, for the for the tumble pop dankness. I like the blep. Oh, and the skeletons in there too. That's pretty sweet. Thank you very much, Ann. Let me retweet that. What was I going to do? I was going to use the bathroom. That's what I was going to do. Be right back. <laughs> uh, do I not have the... Where's the text? There we go. There's no outline on it. Okay, be right back.
Okay, sorry about that. I just, like, uh... Also, I looked over at my phone, and... Apparently my dad was trying to call me and... Left a voicemail, and he just said, like, uh... Just trying to touch base. Uh, I'm about to go to bed. That was, like, half an hour ago, so, uh... <laughs> I don't think I should call him back. I'll do that tomorrow. I don't talk to my dad that often. Alright, um... Oh yeah, I was gonna look at that caveman ninja bootleg. Oh, also, what's up, D-Kitty? Uh, okay, um... What's it called? It's called, like, uh... Caveman Ninja Bootleg. It's not a Karnov game, but I just wanna... I gotta hear this music. Caveman Ninja BL. Sea Ninja Boys Love. Wait, I know this music. What is this music? No, this is definitely music from a from another game. This weather channel ass music. But I, I can't place it. Like this sounds like end credits music, I guess, but that that first track like definitely I definitely remember hearing that on something. Also, I don't know how to 1cc this game, by the way. This isn't gonna be on Monday. I just wanna It's oh my god, it is Kevin, you're right. Oh my god, why is there block out music on this? Block out. I warned you. Also, I hope, uh, hope you're feeling better, Kevin. Fuck, no wonder I couldn't, uh, I couldn't place it. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna think about block out. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, that's block out music, all right. Oh, good. That's a that's a relief. <laughs> Man, of all the games to like take music from, it's Fucking block out? <laughs> Fucking weird. <laughs> I'm not playing that. Yeah, I don't know if, if Stone Age is any different. Stone Ball. Oh, that's a good title screen. Fucking Atari 2600 logo, hell yeah. Oh, yep, that's block out music again. Why are there two bootlegs that use block out music? What the fuck? Auto frame skip turned on. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, this version was was supported before the main set of Caveman Ninja was. I guess there was some some copy protection on it. Yeah, there were. There's been games in Mame that like the uh, the bootlegs were were supported first. Like I think uh, like way back in 
one of those really old versions of MAME. Before before Time Pilot was supported, they only supported a bootleg called Space Pilot. I think I showed that. That fucking MS Paint title screen they had for Space Pilot. Yeah, Bubble Bobble was a bootleg for a long time, too. It wasn't Bubble Bobble, it was Bobble Bobble. I remember that. You know what's fucking weird? There's a, uh... Okay, so there's a bowling alley here called Big Al's. And... In the in the sports bar, like, they, they put a few arcade cabinets in there that were separate from, like, the, uh the main arcade, and, like, they they put all the games on free play, which was cool. And they were just, like... There was only a few games there. They had, like, Dig Dug and, uh, Pole Position, and they had a Bubble Bobble cabinet. But it has the, uh, the Bobble Bobble title screen. And it, it ran really shitty, too. I have a picture of it somewhere. Because Heidi and I played it, like, uh, the last time we went there, which was, like, must have been, like, a year or two ago. It could have been a main cabinet? I don't know. Man, I really do not know how to play this game. I think this game might be on the list of things I want to, like, learn to 1cc in the future, but I'm not doing that tonight. This is so bizarre. <laughs> this is like some alternate reality caveman ninja. A course. Okay, enough of this shit. Somebody say, walk out. Hi, Heidi. Hi. You get too excited over the, the thought of block out. I warned you. Yeah, remember that bobble bobble cabinet at Big Al's? Yeah, cuz cuz yeah, the coin gem has a a bubble bobble cabinet that it seemed like it was it was fine, but then like you start playing it and when you get to like any stage with a lot of enemies, it starts like it starts it slows down a lot, like it gets choppy. But I don't know if it's like a like a meme cabinet or what. Like it, it seemed like it was just a fucked up board. So weird. Weird shit. Okay, what was I, uh, what was I gonna do? Okay, I need to... Sheesh. I remember I was, I was playing... I played Bad Dudes a few months ago for, for Mame Chronicles, and I couldn't 1cc it. We needed Murphigator to, to save us all. Um, I had a save state, like the... The most problems I was having was the uh uh fifth boss. So I think I need to like practice that specifically. I think this is the uh May 21st, 2020. Yep.
But I definitely, like, yeah, I put the save state here. But I just couldn't figure out, like, a consistent strat for this boss. Sometimes he does that low attack. Or he just swings it into you. Also, I have no idea what to do if you don't have the chucks. Yeah, sometimes he just does that that one frame low attack. And I don't know what to I don't know what to do. I think I tried yeah, I tried doing that and it doesn't work. Uh let me try this. No, that doesn't work either. Thanks for the uh, the host op, Meister. Yeah, I didn't see it uh, see it pop up here. How's everything going? Yeah, that's why I just started raiding people instead of hosting now. See, sometimes he just he didn't he no sells that first hit. Like the strat here is like you want them to be you want him to be like bouncing back and forth, but he doesn't always do it. Extends in this game, so I really want. I really need to be consistent on this boss. Just slip that in. I should definitely be doing jump kicks if possible, because those those do more damage. That is what I fucking hate, though. Like, even when you, you have the range, but he can still hit you. Also, that does two points of damage, which is not good. And you get hit by the... Uh, the chain like swinging around too. Yeah. Like there's too many ways to get hit in this fight. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wait, does the spin kick make him jump every time? When he hits the edge, he goes for the uh, the jump, which is good. the best way to start the fight. It's kind of not the end of the world, but the thing that makes, like, 1cc in this game such a fucking pain in the ass is that all the power-ups are, are random. Because, like, every every red ninja you kill, like, drops a power-up, but which one you get is random. It can be the extra time, which is worthless. Knife, which is better than the, the fist, but not as good as nunchucks. Nunchucks, which is the best weapon, and, of course, the, uh, the Coke can which you need to regain health, so there's going to be times you're low on health and you need to regain your health, but there's no guaranteed life drops in this game. You have to kill red ninjas and hope, like, one of them drops a Coke can. It kind of sucks. So, like... I'm thinking, like, when I do this on Monday, I'm only going to do, like, a couple attempts. And if I don't get the 1cc, it's just gonna go in the, uh, the run back pile, cause... I don't expect to clear this. It's just there for people like Streetwise to, to get the memes out of their system. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, that's loud. Given an attempt though. Also, yeah, I have to like relearn where some of these enemies are too. What does he have? The clock. You never need extra time in this game. Never. Yeah, there's a Coke can that I don't need. Not even getting weapons on the first stage. Karnov. Luckily, you only need to jump at Karnov. Yeah. 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 
I'm bad. I want the Coke can RNG to show up later in the game, not now. Hey, nunchucks. Okay, we're set. It's weird because he was holding a knife. Like, I originally thought, like, the guys with knives couldn't drop nunchucks, but thankfully that's not the case. Yeah, the arcade scene in Robocop 2 with all the Data East cabs. For some reason, like, a lot of the marquees, like, didn't match. Like, they, it says, like, Sly Spy on it, but it's a Midnight Resistance cabinet. Also, apparently that unreleased Bandit uh, prototype was in the, uh, in the arcade, too. That's crazy. I think Cool Fox pointed it out. There's like, like in the very end of the scene, like when he, when Robocop like throws one of the guys into the, throws a corrupt police guy, I think, into the into the cabinet. You can see like there's there's a picture of like a U.S. map on the, uh, uh, on the screen. It matches the uh, the Bandit game, and it's got like a a a, a, a steering wheel like Spy Hunter. So you can see what uh, what the control scheme was supposed to look like. That game like just just became dumped and playable in Mame like uh, last year. Do I like Robocop? It was one of the first games I won CC'd that I can remember one CC'd. I did it in the very first 1cc BBH stream. That's the one, Dr. Dorito. That got me pretty good. But that game's fucking impossible without uh, without cheating, or at least it's not possible without the uh, the proper control scheme. 
Shit. What's up, Bardic Broadcast? Somebody Die. needs to drop some health. This is a stage where I start taking hits, too. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody has a clip of it. Because it fit in a Twitch clip. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't remember, like, where these guys jump, so... I'm just scrolling the screen very slowly. Oh god. Oh, BBH is killing dogs again. Ooh. Oh man, all the aerobics instructors are out. with this guy and his random iframes like that. Fuck. That was three points of damage. chance if one of the red ninjas will drop some health. I have to pray to the gods of RNG because there's no guaranteed health drops in this game. If I see somebody drop a, a nunchuck, a pair of nunchucks, I'd probably just take a hit so I could start a new life with them because the nunchucks are really important for the last stage. I don't know how you're supposed to beat the last boss without nunchucks. Oops. Well, I guess I die anyway. Forgot about Fireman. He would have gotten me too. Mmm, Fireman. Let's 
good to remember these things, I guess. <laughs> Fucking time ups. Is there another another pickup for the boss? Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, that didn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, that's some unfortunate RNG. All right. Wasn't gonna have a weapon for the boss. Like, there, there's no way I can keep playing if I don't have a weapon for the stage 5 boss. That's how attempts are gonna go. And like I said... Uh, I will play this on Monday just for the sake of Car November, but I don't expect to 1cc it. It'll just get thrown in the run back pile if I can't get it within like 2 or 3 attempts. Ups on stage one. Oh, those have active frames, huh? the whole point of the uh, the next Monday stream to do all these uh, all these games with Karnov in them. Cause why not? It's Karnov Ember. Also, it uh, ties in pretty nicely to the fact that I'm going to be uh, uh, helping. Helping run stream a uh, a Fires History Dynamite tournament next Saturday, not this Saturday, but the next weekend. I figured it was the perfect time. These make all suburbs card off. It's a good idea. Sense. Stop giving me time. I know what to do with these guys on the truck. Like it's better to just like take contact damage because contact damage is one point and. Getting hit by the claws is two points. Bad dudes can't take contact damage. Oh. Uh, I'm on a 
Starbucks, John. Health, please. Thank you. Shit. Fucking... Man. I haven't gotten a nunchuck pickup yet. Sure to get lots of time, though. I'm not even bothering to pick that up. Shouldn't even play for score in this game, because they ruined the scoring system on the US version. be some way to manipulate the items, right? Oh yeah, never do that from the from the bottom. You gotta keep that guy on the top. Uh, the scoring system in this game from the Japanese version, they they multiplied everything times four. Like, the, the regular enemies are worth 400 points there. In the Japanese version, they're worth 100, and then... Like you get like 100 points for each second at the end of a at the end of a stage. The thing they ruined is that uh, the last boss is worth uh, 400,000 points in the U.S. version, and you're gonna have like 700,000 points or so by the time you reach the last boss. So you'll automatically counter stop the score, and the game keeps your score and continues. So even if you're credit feeding, you're if you're playing solo, you're probably gonna kill enough enemies to get the uh, the maxed out score no matter what. Hey, there's the chucks. Like a 1cc in the Japanese version will get you like 300,000 something. But in the US version, it's always pretty much always 999,999. Yeah, Chucks have the same damage as the knife, it just has more range. And they do a, they do the same amount of damage as like a normal puncher kick. The jump kicks do more damage. Jump kicks are like double damage of the, the nunchucks. Yeah, the aerobics instructors are worth 1600 for some reason. The red guys are worth 1,600. Uh-oh. Uh, pretty sure the scoring system's different in the NES one. I don't know the NES version that well, but I'm pretty sure it's different. Shit. Ran into his dick. I was trying to stab the dog. Oh my god, this game. Uh 
Okay, I need chucks and I need health. It always comes down to stage five. Oh shit, what's up, Spooky? This was the, uh, oops. Never mind. I think the fire guy shows up here. Yep. Just jump over him. I hate stage five so much. Oh, there's the health. Great. the stage specifically, I think. Oh my god, I cannot anti-air these guys. What the fuck? Alright, next credit, I'm putting a safe state here. These enemies just like they put themselves in really annoying positions where they're gonna they're gonna jump and dodge your attacks. Whoa! She fell off. Health, please, or nunchucks. God damn! This is like the worst possible item, RNG. Let me see if I can even do this boss with a knife. I didn't jump. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very optimistic about 1cc in this. Why are there no nunchucks? There they are. It's that desire sensor. I'm just running into everybody. Fuck it. Cool back at Karnov. Why do they give so much time? You're never gonna run out of time in this game. Unless you, like, have a heart attack. Die. In which case, you die anyway on this stage. It's an auto scroller. Thank you. Uh, 
that five star SSR Coke can. I need to see this game's draw rates. I need to see what the pull rate is on a 5-star SSR Coke can. 0.05%. Rate up. Oh my god. Three Coke cans in a row. When I don't fucking need it. Oh fuck. Yep. Some more coke hands? All this good health luck. Whoa, I hit him twice. What the fuck? I should not be taking four hits on that boss. That guy's supposed to be easy. How did I get six Coke cans in a row? Yeah, I wish there was some way to manipulate the items. Seven! I don't even need that one. Ah, oh, the streak broke. Oh well. I feel a little better now. Yeah! Yeah! 
Gotta remember that dog. take two hits, but if you jump kick them, you can take them out in one. So you gotta kind of, like, know where they appear. Also, it's hard, but you can kind of do a, a wiggle with the, the nunchuck. Hit both directions at once. was in another game. I don't think so. I don't know if they use that sprite for anything else. Alright, let me put a save state down just to... so I can practice this later. Did they reuse it for Jaws and Slice By? I mean, he doesn't have the shoulder things. He doesn't have the armor. Look at that sprite again, I guess, to, to compare it. You could be right. But yeah, he doesn't really behave like anything like that boss. Of a zombie, he died in the first stage. Oh, good, a clock. Exactly what I wanted. Give me another one. Shipping Chelnov cabinets cross country. Oh god, where do I stand again? Like right here?
save state Daddy here. Wins. Yo, Cam Sledge, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you very much for the resub. The, invulner the invulnerability period after taking a hit for, for you or for bosses? For bosses? Yeah, it's like a... It's like a couple seconds. See where the call drops are. The third one, I can't see where it is. Okay. When you have the nunchucks, you can't do anything about the uh, the cal drops. You can only jump over them. Unless you're below them, you can actually hit them with the the upward swing. But that's it. Situation like that, you can't do anything though. You can only kill the the gray ninja first. Yeah, if you don't go down to where they are, they just kinda... The sword guys just kinda take off. Oh god, I turned around. It, it like changes your hitbox. Can I like... Hmm. Can I turn around? Oh, this is the boss area. Oh shit! Get out of here, Billy Kane! So he's not actually too bad. He takes like double damage from jump kicks or something. Unless you miss your jump. Extremely good face when he's dead. Okay, final stage. Put a safe state down. State here. <laughs> now I'm really cheating. Die. 
Yeah, I remember there's some weirdness here with how the enemies, like, jump around. Like, when they jump off the, the boxes on the left, they'll, like, do a jump forward, I think. Or they'll just do that. Whatever. Anger. <laughs> wow, this luck. This is the god luck. Wow, you would. Okay, I think you can you can like scroll the the cow drops off the screen. I think that one at the top is still gonna be there, but I think I got rid of the other one. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. The big jumpies. <laughs> Rush, baby. Luckily, he doesn't have anywhere near as much health. Elevator stage. Grab some other safe states just in case. This is the, uh, the claw guy. Yeah, he dies in three jump kicks because his jump kicks do double damage to him. Man, I keep getting tagged by those. Uh oh, that's not a good spot. Fuck. I'm definitely gonna have to practice that. Yep, he's back. Oh god, I don't remember the strat. I guess it's just all chucks. I don't know if you can use the platform strats. No, he jumps. Shit. And it's too easy to trade hits there. Fuck. Input drops. But now that I don't have I have nunch I don't have nunchucks, I don't know what to do on the last boss. Cause you kinda have to like Get up in his face and you can't outrange him. And if you high jump into the the helicopter blades, you die. Whoa! Got killed by a dog. Okay. Um. Yeah. The practices specifically. Yeah. So it wouldn't have been a 1cc. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Got a tiny hitbox. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, 
God damn it, I can never take them all out. Okay, what the fuck do I do for this? Because, yeah, he just jumps straight up. Hmm. Hmm. Nunchucks, the last boss is a breeze. Whoa. I'm floating. I'm bad. Working as intended. Okay. That doesn't even work? Like, it all comes down to, like, getting past this boss with the, uh... Yeah, you, you can't do a jump kick when he drops down. You gotta get to the last boss with the nunchucks. I don't know what you're supposed to do without it. Some hitbox. Okay. Gotta space it out just right, too. If he didn't have that fucking low attack, this would be. This would be a breeze. What even hit me there? Okay, yeah, the helicopter blades are active from the beginning. I just wanted to test. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta space that, like, just right. this hitbox. I don't know what you're supposed to do on this boss. Okay, so you can't do it from the left side. It's got to be from the right. Dogs don't even give a fuck. 
fucking... Okay, I can't even get up there. I don't know what you're supposed to do on this boss. The helicopter just kind of moves around randomly. Always an active hitbox. Wait, that was three. Why didn't he die? started because you don't know when he's going to do that low attack. It's such a problem. Hold on a sec. Yeah, if I could just get... This is like the one boss other than the last boss that I just can't figure out. And, like, I've looked at it before, and I, like, I think I watched a replay, and I didn't really, I didn't really learn anything. <laughs> I'll probably check another one just to see if they have, like, another, another strat for that, but... Maybe the standing one is better? Like, it wouldn't make sense for the standing hitbox to be better because the, the low one looks like it has more range, but... What if the standing one actually does have a better hit... Whoa! Have a better hitbox. Where did the, uh, the gray guy come from? Is it because I waited too long? Am I leeching? Standing hitbox might be better. I need a hitbox viewer for this. Was that really the answer the whole time? Move the cane, please. Uh, why? Why did you ignore the attack? Oh, 
Walker. Yeah, I guess standing was better than crouching this whole time. Who knew? Jump kick, you hit the helicopter blades. That's right. Strat's not 100% either. like something that would be fun for like 10 minutes. I've never actually played it. It looks batshit insane. I'll give it that. Keeping in Data East tradition. Sometimes it takes four jump kicks, sometimes it takes three. I don't get it. Maybe the stationary one does a little more damage? I don't know. Okay, so there is no safe spot here. Is this... No, it definitely looks like the uh, the crouching one has more range, but the the standing one is better for chain guy, I guess. I don't know. Call of Duty Superstar Ronald Wagon. Graphics 
voiced by Dotman and Mixman and Monsieur Mickey. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta grind this a little more. Not right now, though. Yeah, the ending's different on the Japanese version. Like, it has a, uh, it has a cast of characters at the end. But, like, it doesn't have Ronald Reagan. Like, the, the bad dudes are just, like, on a, on a bridge or a dock or something. I don't know. Waterfront. And yeah, no matter what, if you play through the game solo, you're going to get 999,999 points. Even if you credit feed. Okay, I'm going to try something real quick and then call it a night. Because Lord knows I never play this. Oh, wait, I don't want this version of MAME. Hold on. Demo sound? Mid game buy in mode. Mid game buy in. What? Round one, fight! But that was. Wow, why is that stage music going in so hard? Okay, um... I think the strat here was to... was to pick Marstorius. Because he actually has a real jump in this game. But he still has double German range. Big tornado. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, is it half circle back or half circle forward? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Oh, you gotta do it with Fierce. Okay. It doesn't work with Jab. Okay. And you can't combo into it. Okay. That's all I needed to know. I was wondering why I couldn't get it out. Oh god, this, this is a six-button game, so there's, like, extra normal moves that aren't in, uh, Dynamite. Oh man, Wheel Kick is so bad in this game. So, that's, that's like three hits. 
Oh man, that jump jab, wow. God, it's so weird seeing these other normal moves. I don't think he has the... Does he have the rising name? No. DDT. Oh, that's the drop kick. It's a medium kick. But he doesn't have the splash. Oh, maybe that's medium punch. Ryoko. Oh, yeah, the cat in the background. There goes the cat. Man, he can't combo. Volume is really low. It's one of these with like 800 sliders. You know what? Slider controls. Marsori seems pretty good in this. He can't combo into the command throw, but it still does a lot of damage. I don't know what the tiers are like in this game. I know it ain't nice to pick on kids, but you fucking suck, Ryoko. I thought those. Oh man, he has so much more recovery on that. Oh man, Tiger Lair is good. Also, the people in this background are getting down. Yeah, one lady all the way on the right is like just punching like crazy. Yo, that hitbox, holy shit. Gene has so much recovery on his projectile in this game. Look at that shit. And the slide. Gene seems pretty bad in this. Ugh. You can negate your block stun and reversal real fast somehow. You can do that in World Heroes 1. I don't know if that's a thing in this game, too. It might be. Samche. Oh man, Samchai sounds so weird. Tika Kon. Tiger Larry is so good. Oh god. Is that unsafe on hit? Is that throw punishable on hit? Well, yeah, I, I I actually knew about the bootleg when I was just trying stuff in MAME because I'm like, history of martial arts, what the fuck is that? I need to try that out. I know his throws can actually hit weak points in this game. Wow, that jump jab looked weird. So I thought that, like, might make Sam Chai good in this game, but... Tikal Khan is really bad. That was his easiest swap in the fly. Round one, I don't know how Lee is, though. 
I like the ducks. That is really slow. Fuck. I got a low fear Santa here. Whoa. He looks all embarrassed in his wind pose. What the hell? There we go. Big heal. Oh, that's unsafe. Ah, uh, yeah. No, he can't do the cancels. You can't. Uh... Whoa! Look at those ducks on the left. They're like they're hauling ass. No, you can't combo into command throws in this game, unfortunately. Whoa! He's got a funky throw. German. Oh man, tick throws. Marsorius wins. I don't know why I waste my time on a piss bleak like you. Oh, he's got a fancy background. Ooh! Is that a legit tick? Yeah, this is the original Fire's history. Just messing around against computer right now. No wonder they increased the charge times on everything for him in, uh, Dynamite. Well, you or not, I'm playing all the games with Karnov in them on, on Monday, so I gotta play this. Too bad I had to bust his pretty face. Is Phelan still trashing this? Probably. Condom duck! Air fireball seems better. She doesn't hang in the air for like 10 years after air fireball, so that's that's better. What the fuck was that? Whoa. That was a down back throw. Wow. Nice input read in there. Yeah, there is history of martial arts. It's a stupid bootleg. I don't know if I want to do that now or save that for my my shitty fighting game stream. Round one, fight. Good lord, this music goes hard. Marsorius wins! Round two! Fight! <laughs> I think I found the strat. Oop. Over 
head kick. So many characters have the same ugh death noise. Too much loud music is rotting your brain, punk. Mezoguchi. Oh. oh god, he has even more recovery on that. It was already bad in Dynamite. It's even worse in this game. Oh yeah, he totally reversaled out of block stun, didn't he? Yeah, it's like Street Fighter 2, the music speeds up when you're when you get to low health. I wonder if Marstorius has Oh god, actual combos. I'm looking for new tick throws. God, that has so much range. Big scoops. And yeah, this, this game was so rough around the edges. They got their shit together for Dynamite. Take your tiger bazooka somewhere else, pal. Doesn't impress me. And yeah, Clown and Karnov are unplayable in this game. They were playable in the Super Nintendo version. This fucking background. It's a good, good face on the right. Oh, his jump is super floaty. Pick a card. Wonder where that door goes. This is a spiritual successor to, to Panic on the Sega CD. Shit. Uh oh. Yeah, he's canceling out of blocks done like right away. weird in this game. Yeah, he's canceling out of Blockstone with a standing fierce. I don't know how this works. Tiger. That ball attack wasn't safe on block. <laughs> Alright, time for a weirdo Karnov. He's so tiny. Not my Karnov. Wait, is this AI still fucked up? Oh, he's got triple kit. Oh man. Triple kick is safe. Triple kick. Whoa, he looked confused there for a second. But yeah, like the, uh... Oh god. The copy protection for this in MAME used to be, like, kind of fucked up. And you couldn't actually fight Karnov. He would, like... It was... It was weird. I wonder if I still have a replay of it. Oh god. German. Mmm, okay. I need strats for Karnov, apparently. 
out of story and lose it. Too much pasta. Definitely not good for your heart. Is that video game advisor material? Heel kick doesn't even knock down. I'm trying to like mash out double German during during block stun, but it's not working out. I don't know how the reversal thing works. Marsorius loses. Round two. Fight. It's hard to anti air. Charge go. Fuck, he's got air to airs. Okay, I need to like. I gotta figure this shit out. I, th I, I thought I could just double German him like I do everybody else in this game, but. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can make him jump. Oh, I made him jump. Hmm, okay. Make him try to abuse the, uh, block stun cancel. Maybe that's it. Use jumping light kick to, to make him do a thing. Yeah, they're definitely canceling that, but I don't know how you do it. Did he just do fire into triple kick? Mmm, what just happened? I'm not sure if that was a combo. Man, Balloon looks weird in this game. Okay, problem is I don't have an anti-air that's good enough to be his jump attacks. Jump attacks. Marsorius loses. If only he had the uh, the rising kick. I guess just make the the jump attack whiff, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, triple kick is safe. <laughs> Oh god, he's going ham. Yeah, I just gotta figure out like how to how to like actually make him slide every time or something. I become the world's greatest warrior.
man. It's probably like a... You probably get end credits if you want to see it. But I gotta... Mm, I gotta work on that strat, though. Because I thought I remembered I could just... Uh, double German everything, but... Maybe that's not the case. Bottom duck. Uh oh, my the high score plugin fucked everything up. Round one. Maybe I have to do that. It reset when I went to uh, service mode. I should just delete it. Yeah, there it goes. Round one, fight. Yeah, no, it's weird. Man, that slide has so much recovery in this game. Can't get over that. Anywho, that's gonna do it for for now. I still got some work to do on on these games apparently. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Playing some fight cage stuff. Maybe Tekken too. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what I feel like. Kind of feeling some more Tekken. But uh, I know everybody wants to play stuff on Fightcade, too, so we shall see. Anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll, I'll give Kevin DDR a host. It's good to see you. Uh, he's, playing, he's playing that new Tetris Effect thing, so got to see what that's about. Anyway, I'll catch you all again very soon. See you next. Congratulations, you won. You fight in the future. Syria. We fight again. Bye bye.